Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your favorite introvert here, and today we're going to start a series on the DJI Osmo Mobile. Some of the topics we will be covering in this series of videos will be initial setup and registration, cinematic features, customizable settings, Bluetooth connectivity, third-party apps supported by the Osmo Mobile, power cable and battery, and much more. Let's get into it. The Osmo Mobile is an advanced 3-axis gimbal that stabilizes and controls your smartphone, turning it into a smart motion camera. Its light and ergonomic design places physical controls at your fingertips to form a powerful, go-anywhere smartphone filmmaking device. The DJI Go app brings active track and motion time-lapse features to the Osmo Mobile. Equipped with 3-axis stabilization and smooth track technology, the Osmo Mobile compensates for natural arm movements and smooth out transitions. To power on the Osmo, slide and hold the power slider down until the three axis gimbal activates. Here you will find the charging and upgrade port as well as the multifunction trigger, which we will cover in a later video. On the front face of the Osmo handle, you have three buttons and two indicator lights. Your joystick, record and shutter button, camera status indicator, and system status indicator. The holder lock knob allows you to place your phone in the mobile phone holder and secure its position. Do not power on the Osmo Mobile without a mobile phone. The Osmo Mobile will not work if no device is detected by the mobile phone detection sensor. The DJI rosette mount on the side of the handle supports a number of accessories, including an extension arm, an extension rod, a tripod, and various mounts for specialized filmmaking applications. I hope you found this video helpful. In the next video, we will go over how to properly balance your phone in the Osmo Mobile, additional information of battery placement and charging, initial setup, and more. If you did find this video helpful, go ahead and hit that like button. If you have a question, leave it in the comments below. And if you'd like to see more videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button.